So in this problem, we're told to find the area of the region between these two curves. And so we're given the functions y equals x minus 2 squared and y equals x. So I went ahead and graphed it here on Desmos. And uh, you could probably graph it on your graphing calculator if you're allowed to use one. But this blue line right here is going to be y equals x. And uh, this red one is going to be x minus 2 squared. And so what we're trying to find is the area between these uh, two curves. So the area I'm shading in right now. And so what you're going to want to do is... Uh, create an integral, right? So an integral tells us the area, and so we're trying to find it for these two curves. So they don't tell us the upper and lower bound explicitly, but we can tell it uh, based on the graph. So our lower bound is going to be the intersection point right here, right? Because if you see when we shade it in, uh, the smallest x value is going to be 1 right here because the curve doesn't go beyond it because that's where it crosses. And then our upper bound is going to be where they intersect uh, at the latest point, so at 4. So it's going to be from 1 to 4 is going to be our lower to upper bound. So we want to take the integral of 1 to 4. And then what you want to do is uh, for your function on the inside, uh, you're going to take your function that's on top, right? So the top curve or top line in this case, which is y equals x, you're going to take that function, right, and write it. And then you're going to subtract the one that's below it. So in this case, it's x minus 2 squared. So you're going to have your top, the one that's on top, which is x, and then subtract the bottom one, which is uh, x minus 2 squared. And so now that we got that, what we got to do is just solve the integral. So we have x, we have the integral from 1 to 4 of x minus uh, x minus 2 squared. So let's first find the antiderivative. So the antiderivative of x is uh, x over 2 squared, or just 1 half x squared. And then in order to find the integral of this, we have to use u substitution. And you can do this in your head, but I'll walk you through it. So uh, we're going to set u equal to x minus 2. And then du we have to find, which is just going to be 1, right? Because the uh, derivative of x is just 1. Derivative of minus 2 is 0. So 1 dx. So dx equals just du over 1, which is just du. And then, so that would give us uh, u, uh, u squared. And then we find the antiderivative, so it would become u cubed over 3, and then we just got to plug back in u, which is x minus 2. So we have minus 1 over 3 times x minus 2 cubed. And then so we're evaluating it from 1 to 4, so it's going to be our upper and lower bounds. So we got to plug in 4, get a value minus whatever 1 plugged in is. So let's go ahead and plug in 4 first. So if we plug in 4, it's going to be 1 half times 4 squared minus 1 over 3 times 4 minus 2 cubed. So 4 squared is going to be 16, and then we're multiplying it by 1 half, so it's going to become 8. So we have 8 minus 4 minus 2 is 2, 2 cubed is 8, and then we're multiplying it by 1 over 3, which is 8 over 3. So we have 8 minus 8 over 3. And so what we want to do is just get it into one number. So I'm going to make this 8 to be over 3, and so we can rewrite it as 24 over 3 and then minus the 8 over 3. So 24 minus 8 is going to be 16. So 16 over 3. So when we plug in 4, we get 16 over 3. And then we got to minus whatever 1 plugged in is. So let's go ahead and plug in 1. I'm going to do it over here. So 1 half times 1 squared minus 1 over 3 times 1 minus 2 cubed. So 1 squared is just going to be 1 times 1 half is going to be 1 half. So 1 half minus... And then 1 minus 2 is going to be minus 1 cubed. It's going to stay minus 1. And then we're multiplying by uh, minus 1 over 3. So minus 1 times minus 1 over 3 is just 1 over 3. So it's going to become plus 1 over 3. So 1 over 2 uh, and 1 over 3, we got to make them have the same denominator, right? So we'll make them over 6. So 1 half, if we want to write it over 6, it's going to become 3 over 6. And then 1 over 3, we got to multiply by 2. So... 2 over 6, and so 3 over 6 plus 2 over 6 is going to be 5 over 6, and so that's going to be what happens when we plug in 1, so 16 over 3 minus 5 over 6, and then we got to subtract these right, and then this is over 3 and this is over 6, so let's make this be over 6, so we got to multiply by 2, right, so 16 times 2 is 32, so 32 over 6 minus 5 over 6, 32 minus 5 is going to be 27. So we have 27 over 6. And we can simplify this. Uh, if we divide 
each number by 3. Uh, 27 divided by 3 is 9 over, and then 6 divided by 3 is 2. So the area between these two curves are going to be 9 over 2.